shows the results you're looking for against a, a hard super spot. In the preview, you mentioned that they've been a hoodoo team for some time. Your take off 90 minutes, please. Uh, thanks, Pravi. And uh, good evening to the members of the media. Um, yeah, look, we we knew that uh, it wasn't going to be an easy one for us uh, playing against a team that came here was in confidence because they managed to to grind results away from home against Marasbeck. So, uh, let alone that, they also have you know a good team and good technical team in terms of uh, playing personnel. And uh, they also make life difficult for any team that they play against, you know. And uh, we have to plan for them thoroughly in terms of uh, their aerial uh, power and just to fight for the, you know, second balls and not give them, you know, uh, enough time to go on the ball to supply the, the strikers because that's their strength. So yeah, uh, must comment the players. Uh, I think they uh, put in a you know, great, uh, great uh, performance. Uh, later on the results, I think uh, uh, we were switched on. Though I think we started a bit, you know, a bit slow. Uh, for about twenty minutes, you know, we did not uh, uh, create enough chances and. Uh, put the foot on the ball just to make sure that we have that extra touch and be able to connect with the runners up front. But uh, having said that, I think the boys, uh, uh, after just uh, we considered the goal and then it was more like a wake-up call for us. And yes, uh, from that moment we started you know, carrying the ball a little bit longer. Uh, having that extra touch and always waiting for the right moment to connect with the the middle fielders and you could see from from the equalizing goal uh, we had few touches before it led to the goal itself so yeah i must commend the players for their great effort thank you coach we'll proceed to your questions Remember the coach. your name and the <coughs> name of your publication well, and and yes. just, yes. Yes. just absent coach congratulations to the wonderful win um would you say this was a game of two halves and uh, it was a big scrap for your side in the first half, but you came back well poised. And would you also say this was one of the must win games against all odds? Yeah, I would say first half we played in patches, uh, but uh, just after considering the goal, like I said, it was more like a wake up call. Actually, we, we were in control, we dominated the midfield, we created few chances. Uh, and uh, from there, obviously, we going to the half time, we had to, you know, make them aware of certain things that we need to improve on that were also working for us. And uh, we started, you know, as the game was now open, uh, we started to create more chances, you know. I think we could have scored another two or three, uh, which just unfortunate. And uh, yeah, uh, when it comes to Yes, we want to win every game that we play. It was not a must win for us. Uh, every game is a must win, not only this one. Thank you, Coach. Uh, let's move past. Uh, <coughs> Thanks, Thanks for that, Joseph. And sports. Coach, um, your debutant gave you two goals. Um, just take us through that and your his performance build up to this match. Your 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 closer look at him. What is it that? He's got to offer to this team um, a, a, a player that comes with um, a at the back of a whole lot of talks, you know, high pedigree. But then again, coach, you still said that you don't lose at home. You managed to keep your home record intact still. What does that mean to you? Yeah, look, uh, uh, Caleb is giving us you know, that different dimension. Uh, you know, we have a lot of nippy players, you know, who are very good on 1v1s and also. Uh, we are not that much strong on the ball, but very, very mobile. So Caleb is strong on the ball and is very, very quick to attack, you know, uh, is explosive to attack the near post. We need, uh, uh, you know, that type of a striker. And that is why we had to take our time in terms of, you know, bringing in someone. And we had to make sure also that if, when he comes in, we need to complement him because it's pointless to bring a player and 
is not you know fitting in, in, in a system or the way we want to play and uh, we had to obviously profile him properly and when we bring him we are now sure to say this is how he can help us in terms of making sure that our game improves you know uh, in the final third entry i don't know which one i did not answer the home record. yeah look uh, we have to we have to build on in something we are a work in progress i've always been saying this uh, in order for us to get things right we're gonna have to do you know one thing right you know we're not gonna yes we maybe we maybe win all the games but we have to make sure that people understand that when they come to fnb they come to case achieves and they come in here to throw points you know or to to donate points and that's how that's where we should start we're not gonna fix everything at once but we'll take one step you know things uh, one step at a time let's go okay uh, coach, congratulations on, on the win. Um, just on organization um, at the back, I think since you brought it back, Shanti, there's been a lot of um, stability um, at, at that side. And um, we saw today you also gave uh, Dove, um, left center back, uh, role. How, in, in terms of balance, is that what uh, you are looking for? And also, maybe uh, in this organization and, and, and also leadership at the back. Um, with, especially with Kune, having Kune there, does it give the defenders a bit of um, confidence as well? Most definitely, uh, Brave. Um, you always need your, you know, uh, players that uh, that bring in experience to help the young ones and the, the 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 new players in the setup, you know, to settle in quickly. Uh, because we're trying to find a way to how can you know uh, start playing as a club not just to play for the sake of playing but to have their identity so you need you know uh, leadership uh, in that regard you need players that can understand that that also can buy in so that they can help the young ones and the new players in the system so uh, having Kune uh, finding that right balance as well uh, with Dove now a natural left-footed player in that position so our passing channels, you know, they become even more clear and, and our tactical understanding as to how we support uh, one another in order to, to rotate the ball at the right time and how do we secure the ball as well. So you must have seen that today, it was much better compared to other games because uh, we were playing right-footed player, you know, uh, on the left and now it became predictable when we were building up you know, from the back and even the teams, they could easily plan for us, you know. But in this game, they didn't know which channels to close because he's a natural left-footed uh, left -footed player and that side where a right-footed, you know, uh, a player. And now he was complimenting Solomon Zita, you know, when, when we build up and also when we defend and and uh, the same applied, you know, uh, on the other side, you know, with Clanty and and, uh, and and dove so we had a balance and that's the balance that we needed all along thank you let's move <coughs> to the last three questions coach uh, from the Times. Um, just obviously <coughs> what man of the match paid up the two goals but to single someone out uh supporter newly called up a final player i think he was one of the crucial players just to bring up the spirit of the team you know going down um at the super sport games and also loved it the crowd he makes me excited um, and I just saw the confidence rubbing off on the rest of the players. Um, how big of a part is he to do what you want to achieve with Chiefs? And um, the nervous start, is that an indication that the confidence isn't there of a lot of these players in the team yet? Yeah, look, like I said, uh, I said, we, you know, we started the season off very well. You know, for, from our first game, we were just unfortunate, you know, to throw points there. But when you look at the balance of play, when you look at uh, the, the performance in that game, I think we did very well. We were just unfortunate to concede a goal early and we did not take our chances. And the second game, I think also, you know, you could, you could see, you know, positive signs, you know, on the right track. And unfortunately, we went to that Sundowns game where we, we considered that it, it was kind of, you know, uh, uh, a, a knock, you know, that, that dropped our, our our confidence, you know, in that game. So we had to pick ourselves up uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, we, 
we we we, we, we get that that balance and the, and the confidence you know comes back very very quickly and i think this game we needed this game to boost our confidence and i think now going forward we're going to have to obviously make sure that we don't concede you know um but a score more goals because we have those great combinations which are unfortunate that sometimes we don't we don't capitalize on that and score goals but uh, the team is going to improve you know it's a work in progress and uh, we slowly get in there where we want to be so Kota is obviously ever since uh, the beginning of the season is one of the you know the best players that we have and uh, what I'm glad about you know is that he's now playing 90 minutes when you look at him was uh, the previous season he was more like was more like an impact player but now he can play 90 minutes and still show character you know and take the game to the opposition as well because he's more direct and you need those kind of players you know to put the opposition under pressure okay thanks for me um coach I don't know, coaches have mentioned that they sleep a few hours because of the mm -hmm. work amount of work that they have. Um, just to mention one, Roland has mentioned that they have a sleeper. Yeah. Uh, and that was six. Do you ever sleep? And the second question, um, with the photo now being called up in the in the Papana uh, squad, what's your plan that? Okay. Yeah, look, you know, the <laughs> you know, to be a coach it's let alone that is a profession, is a lifestyle. You know, uh, right now I'm going back home. I'm still gonna go and analyze the game, watch the game properly. Uh, we get, you know, and pay attention to, you know, details as to where we can improve in our game. You know, and uh, also work with the individuals and work on the corrections just to make sure that we improve as a team. You know, so I might maybe go to bed maybe around three in the morning or four and then I have to wake up because we have to do regen I should maybe I sleep about two hours most of the time if not three hours you know but uh, when I get the opportunity to sleep because sometimes you need to sleep properly so that you can also think properly you know so yeah uh, it's our job unfortunately I chose to be a coach so there's no time to sleep you know whether we're winning games or losing games there's no time to sleep you know, it's a tough job uh, for coaches because uh, it's more about results. It's more about trying to get the team together, trying to help the players to think alike, and also try to get that chemistry right. So, yeah, and it all, uh, you know, boils down to one thing. You as a coach, you have to get it right, you know. And then, yes, I'm happy for Scott. Uh, uh, we needed at least one, two or three players, you know, to be in the national team. But uh, it wasn't to be in terms of uh, the number of players that have been called up to the national team. But we are happy for him and we'll give him the support that he needs. And that, I think, that will also boost his confidence. I think he must have seen by his performance today, you know, that uh, he deserved the call up. And we're happy for him as a club. I've seen many hands that we're going to close, I'm sure, with that one more trial. If the question is not too long. Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, in previous uh, uh, conf uh, press conferences, you also spoke about uh, Jabulok Long. Uh, what did he do to get the nod to, to be part of the starting 11? And what were uh, your thoughts on his performance today? Did he give you what he wanted? And is he, his confidence uh, coming back as well? Yeah, thanks for the question. Yeah, look, uh, there is no doubt Jabula is a talented player, you know. He's a workhorse in the middle field, you know, uh, whenever, when he's ready, you know, we'll always give him the opportunity. But like I said, you know, I said uh, there is, you know, competition for places, you know. Uh, we had uh, Nange doing well, we had, I mean, not Nange, I'm to say, um, we had Yusuf doing very well. Uh, we had uh, Siteve, you know, uh, doing well as well. So, uh, but for this game, we thought, uh, we needed someone like Njabulu. So in another game, maybe one of the three might sit on the bench, you might need a more offensive player. You understand what I'm saying? So today we knew that it was going to be a middle field battle and we needed to win. We needed stability and make sure that we win that battle and be able to play as well and to come out of tight situations. And I think he did very well, extremely well. 
and not only him, Youssef and then and Siteve as well, but you could see it was uh, the end of the game, the last 20 minutes, uh, Siteve you know, ran uh, out of gas and we had to substitute him. So there's competition for places and we will give every individual that deserves to play and because we train, we, we play the way we train, you know, so I'm, I'm happy for him as well, for the fact that he performed very well today. Thank you. We'll try and see. Okay, and you from sorry to like my command. A coach, I saw supporters reacting to Caleb in a very negative way. And I looked at you and you kept on clapping hands, meaning that you were motivating the player to continue uh, playing. What made you not to follow certain suits that with like other coaches that would have possibly substituted him, but you kept him going and he ended up scoring and his confidence was gained. Yeah, thanks for the question. You know, to, to be the coach, you are, you are a leader and you have to lead and believe in this place. And they know that I believe in them, you know, and even at training, you know, the way we want to play. And for the fact that football is a game of mistakes, I always remind them that you don't have to focus on the mistakes. You know, focus on the good things that, you know, you can do that can help you and the things that can get the best out of you. And that is why I have to, I have to encourage them because a player if he's playing inside and he looks at me from the bench and um, showing maybe that I doubt his ability or I'm negative or then that will kill his confidence as well. So I had to I had to lift him up and not only him but many other players. I had to push them. They know even a training I push them because I want to get the best out of them. And I always knew that he's gonna you know he's gonna score goals for us. Uh, even if he scored one today, but it was very very important for him. You know, to score because that was always going to, you know, boost this confidence. Thank you. Coach, congratulations. With the FIFA play coming this coming weekend, you are traveling to Bloomington to play Real AM in the Cup. How important is that game for you to sustain the momentum of winning? Thanks for the question. Yeah, look, we, we needed this game because we wanted to, you know, uh, to improve on certain, uh, certain uh, aspects, you know. Uh, of our game uh, we needed to make sure as well that we get the chemistry right and that is why we wanted to play this game and to also give uh, other players the opportunity those who are not playing you know uh, regularly at the moment because we want to keep everyone on, you know on the same level of fitness you know. so yes uh, that's the privilege we have in terms of having this kind of games uh, it might be like f f uh, practice matches but they are still you know, uh, games that are going to be watched by, by people on TV and people coming to the stadium. So to the players, it will still help them to perform at their utmost best. And for us as well, we know to get the combinations right because our next game is, is against Amazulu in the cup game. So that will help us as well going forward. Thank you. The last one. Thank you. To Rosie from Far Post. Uh, coach, um, your former colleague, or Justin Bok, has been appointed uh, TD of SAFA. Uh, your thoughts about that appointment? Um, you know, when you see one of us, you know, progressing in in life, uh, you always, you know, um, give credit. You know, I know him very well. He's a hard worker, and he deserves it. Uh, he's been there, you know, through thick and thin. He's been there in the game. He's been learning. He's one person that I know that is very knowledgeable. So we are proud of him, and we know that he'll help the game, you know, uh, to grow in this country. Members of the media, thank you. Good night, Travis. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Thanks so much. Congratulations.